Hello everybody, this is your boy JHMGG. Today in the background you're going to be watching the speed art for a little header saying I support Team Envious, MLG Columbus. There you go, in the background, hope you enjoy that. But today we're going to be talking on a serious note. MLG Columbus is two days away, no, a day away for the, um, for the whole open bracket. And then Saturday's pool play, I believe. I don't know exactly. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to be doing my predictions of pool play. It would be biased for me to say that Whiplash is going to get to the bracket, get to pool play. So for now, I'm going to leave them out of it. Although I do believe that our team does have the skill level to get to open bracket. No, pool play. Sorry. So first of all, we're going to start off by looking at pool A, which is Optic Gaming, Team Calibre, Prophe Prophecy, and STDX Esports. So for this pool, for this pool, I would say it's either going to be I reckon Optic Gaming will take it, Team Calibre or Prophecy will come into the second to advance forwards to the um, open bracket and come into the championship bracket. Um, uh, I don't. I've never heard of STDX. ST TDX, I don't know them, so I'm not going to say anything. I reckon it will be, I'm going to gun it and say Optic Gaming and Team Calibre will take that. Over to Paul Villa, we've got Team Justice, Rise Nation, Optic Nation, Automatic Reload, and an Open Bracket Contender. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take whoever I think it is, oh, minus the Open Bracket person. So, it's Team Justice, Rise Nation, Optic Nation, and Automatic Reload. This is a tough bracket, actually. Because I, these are all good teams. Team Justice has been playing well in the um, recent tournaments. Automatic Reload's been doing all right. I don't think they're on top of the game, but I think they can perform well. And Optic Nation, whether they're, they've only just come together, merged, they come together with Karma and TP. So we can see how it's going. Let's see how things are going because they did actually get beat by Whiplash. So anything could happen. <laughs> so. Um, I would say I'm gonna wing it. All of these are winging it. I've got no calculated decisions in it over these, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I reckon it will be Team Justice and Optic Nation, just for the reason that I've seen Team Justice play well in the um, play well in 10k, I believe they did, and Optic Nation. I just think they'll clutch up. Karma's awesome on land side, so, yeah. And then we have got Paul C. Which is Denial Esports, Phase, Stunner, and CLS Esports. CLS Esports is one of the teams that we wanted to be actually to get into this pool play, but unfortunately it didn't happen in the TK. So we got Denial, Phase, Stunner, and CLS. I reckon it's going to be this bracket. This pool pool's quite easy. I'd say Denial and Phase are going to take it, just because one I think Stunner, Stunner, but not really heard of them. CLS, I don't even know who they are, but um, I reckon Denial and Eat Phase will take it because of experience. And on Phase, you've got aches in that, so it's kind of hard for whoever's in that bracket. Okay, and then Paul D, we've got Team Envious, Aware Gaming, NA, Strictly Business, and Carnage. Noble's not in pool play. Okay, that's that's interesting. So, pool, so Noble didn't get enough pro points to get into pool play, but. Anyway, yeah, um, I reckon Team Envious and oh, where will take this, take this, um, this poll. And anyway, guys, this has been your boy JHMGG. I hope you enjoyed watching. None of this is actually probably going to happen, but anyway, keep on top, and we'll keep my predictions going.